Hey, Dr. Sean Suda here. So who is a good candidate for anti-reflux surgery, whether it's the Lynx operation or a Nissen fundoplication? Uh, so the vast majority of patients who have GERD or heartburn or gastroesophageal reflux disease do okay with lifestyle changes, watching their diet, not wearing clothing that's too tight, losing weight if necessary, not eating too close to going to bed, laying down on two or three pillows when they do go to sleep, and antacids whether they're H2 blockers like Zantac or proton pump inhibitors like Nexium or Dexalent. Now in the recent news, there has been a lot of stories about side effects that come with proton pump inhibitors and many patients do have concerns about these and other patients can't tolerate them at all. But there are a subset of patients who are surgical candidates. So if you have GERD or heartburn or reflux, and you go to your physician, they do a diagnostic study like esophageal gastroduodenoscopy, that's a camera scope that goes into your esophagus, and they see severe enough complications from GERD, you may be a candidate for surgery. They may also do a study called a pH study. pH, as you may know, is a measure of acidity, and they measure the acidity in your lower esophagus in various scenarios over a 24 or 48 hour period. And if you hit a certain threshold, then objectively, you may be a candidate for surgery, meaning if you only do medical treatment, you may not get the relief that you would get if you did an operation to prevent this reflux. So we use a number of objective studies to determine this, but we also use our clinical judgment. So if you're a patient who has been taking proton pump inhibitors, you've doubled up on them, you've taken multiple different medications, and you still get heartburn, you still get GERD, despite doing these for two or three months or longer, then you are probably a candidate for anti-reflux surgery. And anti-reflux surgery, when in the right hands, can be done safely and has a very, very good success profile and a high safety profile.